All right, boys, we are back, and we're up here at the trade deadline in year number two with our Arizona Coyotes. In the last video, we made some trades to start the rebuild for next year, basically. Uh, we got rid of Mike Smith. We got uh, Darcy Kemper. I'll try to get his name right, Kemper. Uh, we also got a uh, second-line left wing for next year, Howla. I think he's still listed as a third-line scorer right now, but still. And then we got a, a prospect right wing sniper, Koskainen, who's only three and a half star, but still. Uh, he's only like 19 years old. We picked up some draft picks as well. So we're up here at the trade deadline, and I didn't want to pass it just because if you guys had any suggestions for me, um, I wouldn't... Uh, I wouldn't want to pass it. I had some people in mind like McMillan and Chipchura, but you guys were saying hold on to them for next year. There's no point, especially McMillan. Chipchura might be somebody that I, I could trade away, but um, he's got decent defensive and decent uh, physical stats that for next year wouldn't be a bad idea because I don't know what free agency is going to hold. And the most I'd be able to get with these guys is like a third round pick or something. And for this year, we already have two firsts and three thirds, right? So we should be able to pick up a, a good amount of players and uh, add them to the prospect pool that we already have because last year we had a really good draft year, right? So we just got to add on to the draft picks that we got last year. Uh, we have a lot of wingers, it seems like, on this team now. So maybe just some uh, centers and some defensemen in this year's draft, you know? Uh, so... We're not going to be making any trades here at the trade deadline. I've already gone ahead. There's really nobody that I want. But I was reading your comments, and you guys were saying that it's possible for us to make the playoffs this year. Uh, where are we? Uh, yeah, I mean, I when I looked at that at first, I thought, okay, we're in sixth in the Pacific Division. But if you look at it, we're actually tied with Anaheim, who sits in third right there, right? So the fourth place won't matter because it looks like the wild card is going to go to a team in the Central Division. But if we can catch... Like, Anaheim, Edmonton, Calgary, and us, even San Jose, they're in it as well. They're only four points behind us, right? But if uh, we could make the playoffs, now I'm not going to make trades to try to make the playoffs, but uh, there are some things that I can do. For example, roster moves. Oh, you know what? Just let me I'll quickly show you why I'm going to make this move. I'm going to bring up Mark Vizentine to the NHL team for the remainder of the NHL season because... Um, they've pretty much guaranteed the AHL team a playoff position. 42, 9, and 4, right? So I can bring up Vizentine. He's already got 34 wins on the year. So I can bring up Vizentine for the rest of the year. He can get some games played, right, as the backup to, uh, to uh, what's his name? Kemper, and then maybe we might win a few more games with uh, Byzantine up here, and then if we don't make the playoffs, then I can send him back down to the AHL, and he can play the playoffs for the AHL team. All right, so we'll get him some uh, some starts in the NHL. Technically, he is li listed as a backup goalie. At least he's having a really good year down there in the minors, right? So uh, Byzantine, I'm gonna bring you up. Okay, I can't. Oh, I always. Ugh. Always have too many players here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, Numelin, let me just send you down for now. Good goalies. Uh, all right, so Vizen team, we're going to bring you up. All right, Bachman, Bachman, we're going to send you down. Yeah, we'll leave uh, Bachman as the starter. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so Vizen team and uh, Kemper, defenseman. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I'm going to bring up somebody who can actually play some defense here. We'll bring up Frazier. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then Pronger's still up here. I'll bring up uh, Numelin though, as well. Okay, well, I can't. I guess I have too many players now. That's that's fine. And then forwards, uh, Joe Vitale. Yep, that works out for me right there. McLeod, I don't need. Yeah, we're fine. All right, so let's go. Yeah, let's go best lines again. And uh, let's go best lines for Arizona. Yep, all right, so best lines best lines. Portland, is there anybody who's not playing? No, everybody's playing good. And Arizona, uh, who's the guy who's not playing? Galliardi, uh, Vitali, and Pronger. Okay, I'm fine with that. So let's put the lines together again. Riley Smith was a right winger, right? Yes, he was a right winger. And then Howla on the left. All right, so Howla, Teravainen, Smith, Yakubov, Hansel, Bodker, McMillan, LaRose, uh, yeah, it's our bottom six is really not that good. Ekman, Larson, Yandel, Gormley, Stone, yep, that's fine. Then the power play, Smith and Howell, okay, that's fine. And now goalies, Kemper and Mark Vizentine, so he's going to get some starts here, maybe just like one or two, but uh, still. All right, and then he can go back down to the AHL for the, uh, the AHL playoffs because they've already guaranteed themselves a playoff spot for sure. But I just, uh, I thought the end of this year was just going to be a uh, simple simulation. You never know, you know, with the simulation in this game, 
Um, you never know. I'm not expecting us to make the playoffs, but with everybody in the division just like that, you never know. Crazier things have happened. So we got to win some games, flat out. we got to beat teams like Calgary, because I think they are. Uh, they were one of the teams. Yeah, they're one of the teams that's right there with us. So we want to beat them. Oh, we lost. There you go. Lost in overtime, but still, we got to win as many. Like, we're not... We're not up there, anyways, right? So we got to get some wins. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the the uh, the side that I don't think we're gonna, I don't think we're gonna make the playoffs. I don't want to be, uh, <laughs> I don't want to be negative, but what the hell? All right, so one, two, three, four, five. We'll go up to the last five games, then we'll just take a look there. We're not gonna take a look at the standings until then. There's no way this team makes it in the playoffs. It would be a damn miracle. 29, 30, and seven. There's another, okay, there's another win. All right, Kemper, take this team over. Show Mike Smith. Show all the uh, the naysayers that said that Mike Smith trade wasn't uh, worth it. Show them what's good. Uh, Max Domi's been injured with a elbow with elbow surgery. Wow, he got surgery on the ice. What the hell, man? That's a horrible injury. Um, but yeah, we'll see if uh, we'll see if uh, Kemper can take over. <laughs> he gets a shutout. Holy crap! There's no way. You know what, This I actually do want to make the playoffs this year. I don't think we're going to, but I would like it because I think that would make our younger players who are playing this year better. They'd get the chance to play in the playoffs like like Yakupov, Haula, all these guys. There's another win. What the flying hell is going on? Keep it up, boys. The Arizona Coyotes, year two comeback. All of a sudden, my, my rebuild is, okay, damn, St. Louis looks like they have a very good record. 31. I, <laughs> all right, keep it going, boys. Keep it going. San Jose Sharks. We could beat Joe Thornton and Patrick Marlowe. Yeah, they're 30. Oh, this is a team we want to beat for sure. Oh, my God. The Arizona Coyotes. They're tearing it up. Come on now. Dallas Stars, we can beat them as well. They're in our division. Ooh, and that was a regulation loss. All right. See, we still have the five more. I think we have like nine more games left. Now watch. We'll, we'll lose like five in a row now. Uh, best lines. Cody McLeod. That is Cody McLeod. Portland. Yeah, that's Portland. We're okay. All right. So one loss in a row. Uh, this is going to be 32. Oh, we answered back with another win. Three more games before five games left. Eight more games. Uh, there's an overtime loss. All right. So two overtime losses and one regulation loss. The last three. All right. Game against the Buffalo Sabres. Another win. So I'll do this little uh, this little count since the uh, trade deadline here. We've been, we've been tearing it up. All right. So the last game before we stop the sim. Come on. Give me another win. Don't give me a 32. Don't give me a 32. Don't give me a 32. Don't give me a... Oh, my God. We won again. I don't freaking believe this. This is incredible. Incredible. Uh, all right. So, the two overtime losses and the regulation loss, right? One overtime loss, we'll just say... One overtime loss, we'll say... Uh, the regulation loss was right, right here. Yeah, we, we were right here. So, since that trade deadline or since the simulation, we've gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Uh, eight, nine, ten. We've gotten ten, one, and two. Holy crap! Are you kidding me? What a time to start winning games, boys. We might have clinched the playoffs if all the other teams weren't doing too good. We got eighty-four points. Edmonton is look how many points behind they are. What the hell did the Arizona Coyotes do? Are we gonna make the playoffs this year? I got, I got, I got four games remaining. Yeah, okay, it was only four games remaining. Now, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So four games remaining. Edmonton is behind us by seven points. <sighs> so, I mean, I don't know how many games played they have. If I have four games remaining and possible eight points, we can get to 92 points. Get me up to 88. In four games played, get me four points. I think if we get 88 points, we're in the playoffs. So, boys, I need four points. I need four points. We'll go to the last, uh, the, the home uh, stretch. All right. Uh, uh, Islanders. We can beat the Islanders. Get two early points here. Come on. Oh, my God. We got two more. We're in the playoffs. We're. In the, I don't freaking believe we're in the playoffs. I don't want to jinx us, but... With a record of 11-1-2 since the trade deadline, the Arizona Coyotes are tearing it up. Uh, I'm telling you, man, maybe the second line, Howla and Riley Smith, and then the goal. Like, I didn't I didn't improve our defense. I, I declined on the goaltender. What the hell? All right, we're just, you guys were right about making the playoffs. All right, so here we go. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, 86 points. Now, Edmonton, look at that. They're at 77. They won two games right there. Now, they're only five points behind us, but three games remaining. They could have a few games left. Now, the good news is that we've beaten Winnipeg in the Central Division for the wild card. So the way it sits right now, even if Edmonton passes us, we can still beat Winnipeg. We've put ourselves in a very good position. Even if we lose all three games, 86 points might be enough to clinch a playoff spot. So I said get the, the, the four points. We've already got the two. Come on now. You can beat the LA Kings. They're a good team. They're at the top of the division. Come on. Show them what's good. 
Get revenge. Oh my god. I was just going to say, get revenge for that Western Conference Final. And they did from a few years ago. Another win. 12-1-2 since the trade deadline. This is crazy. Right, I'm just going to keep going here. Dallas. And then we got a big gap before the Minnesota Wilds. Come on. 12-1-2. What's going to happen here? 12-1-2. Uh, All right. 12-2-2. Still fine. Even if we go 12-3-2. That's still an amazing finish to the uh, the regular season. Yeah, Nail Yakupov uh, clipped the uh, 40 assist mark. Beautiful. So he's tearing it up on that first line. And maybe Mark Vizantine, you know, maybe he had a game or two. <laughs> but he's getting this uh, experience of being a backup on a winning team. And now he's going to get some... What do I do with Mark Vizantine in the playoffs now? Shit! Uh, I wasn't expecting this. All right, so the Arizona Coyote, they got the 88 points, which I wanted. They got the four points. And I think four, okay, look at that. The St. Louis Blues, 92 points. Yeah, Winnipeg's got 84. Edmonton's got 83. They can only tie me in two games. Edmonton needs three games to tie me. You know what I mean? I think we're in. I think we're in. So one more game, the last game of the regular season against the Minnesota Wild. We finish the year 13-2-2. 13, 2, and 2. We actually get up to 90 points in year number 2. So everyone talking about my rebuild, how it's not working. I turned the Arizona Coyotes around in one year. An amazing draft, and now we made the playoffs in year number 2 with 90 points. Oh my god. Hang on. Did we make the playoffs? Unless there's like just a bazillion more games here. <laughs> oh, there is one more game. Holy shit, there's one more game. Alright. One more game against the Calgary Flames. Alright, getting a little bit uh, ahead of myself here. Newmelin has been injured with a bruised arm. You're going to miss the playoffs, Newmelin. We, we, we need you. Uh, Portland. Oh, he's on Portland. Never mind. Uh, all right. So, last game of the year. Calgary Flames. Uh, Arizona Coyotes, 90 points. Oh, yeah. We're, we're five points ahead of Edmonton and the wild card Colorado Avalanche. We're in. We're in the playoffs, boys. All right. So, we made the trades at the trade deadline and uh, post-All-Star game. That little gap right there. We traded away a lot of players, and all of a sudden, we are a playoff team. So, 13-3-2 to finish the year. We just lost that game right there. Uh, QMJHL, sure, forwards. Come on! What the... F there you go. Alright. Yeah, that was a loss in regulation. Alright, so we'll simulate ahead here, and let's just see what happens. Do the Arizona Coyotes clinch the playoff spot? <laughs> yes, we do. Oh my goodness gracious. We actually did it. All right, so let me just, uh, stats from last year. Look at that increase. I don't know how we did it, because last year we had, like, Gagne, we had Mike Smith, you know. Uh, I, I, I don't know what happened this year, but we tore it up 90 points this year. Hell yeah. 13-3-2 to finish the year. It's been a good year for the Arizona Coyotes with 41 wins under our belt. I like what you've been doing. Keep it up. Oh, man, we we're in the playoffs, and in round one, we have home ice advantage as well. We have home ice advantage against the Vancouver Canucks. All right, hang on a second. I, I want to make sure I don't lose this. This is amazing. All right, so that's much better. So, the Arizona Coyotes made it into the playoffs in year number two uh, against, against all odds. Nobody, I mean nobody, was going to think that this was going to happen. All right, so let's just do a whole... Team standings. I mean, we, 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 I got to change. I, I said it in this damn video. I said, I guarantee you, we won't make the playoffs. I don't think we're going to make the playoffs. And look at that. We made the freaking playoffs. Edmonton actually made it as well. They must have beat Winnipeg for that, uh, for that wild card position. And the Boston Bruins, a team that we traded. No, 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 no. We didn't get Boston's first round pick, right? We got, uh, we got Minnesota's. Where's Minnesota? Minnesota. There you go. So Minnesota. So our two first round picks this year, they ain't going to be too good. <laughs> I thought I was going to be at the back and maybe get like a top five pick. We're in the playoffs. All right. So maybe those two picks now, maybe we trade them because they're only going to be like four star players and we already have a handful of them. Right. So, but we'll get to that later. That's, that's not important right now. The draft is not important. It's the playoffs. We talking about playoffs now. All right. So goals four per game, 2.60, 23rd in the NHL. So we're not scoring enough goals. But uh, Florida scored less, and they're in the playoffs as well. So that's something that we got to improve on. Goals against per game, 2.95. Uh, See, I think the beginning part of the season, like the beginning three quarters, are going to just ruin our stats right here. But if you could just look at our stats in the last 10 games played, I guarantee you they'd be top They'd be top 10. For sure they would. Power play percentage, 14.8, 26th in the NHL. Penalty kill percentage, uh, 80.1, 22nd in the NHL. Uh, home record, 23-17-1. Away record, 18-16-7. And, and our last 10, 6-3-1. But our last, what was it, like last 16 was 13-3-2 or something like that, right? Unbelievable finish to the year for the Arizona Coyotes. My goodness. Uh, 
player stats for the season. Yep. All right, so we're going to have some players now who have done good. They're going to they're gonna grow for next year. They're going to get some playoff time now. And it's the Vancouver Canucks. So it's not like... I'm not saying we can beat them automatically, right? But we can we can definitely uh, have a chance against the Canucks. So Bodker with 69 points. He really had a breakout year this year. But you'll notice this with players on teams who make the playoffs. Teams that win a lot of games, they get a lot of goals. And because he's on the first line, you know, if we didn't make the playoffs this year, I guarantee you he had a chunk of points from the last uh, 19 games played or whatever. Because he was on the first line and we were winning games. All right. If we didn't make the playoffs, I'm sure he'd have around 60 something or uh, high 50s or 60 something points. All right. So great year for Michael Bodker. Hansel, 66 points as well. So pretty similar from last year. All right, so uh, you can go forward with Bodker and Hansel. They're getting it done. And Nail Yakupov, finally, he had a breakout year for himself. 22 goals. So he's a 20-goal scorer on that first line, 62 points. So the first liners are just full of 60-point scores. But if we played good the whole year, I'm sure they could get 70 points. Teravainen on the second line, 49 points. All right, for his first complete NHL season, it's decent. And he really didn't have any wingers for the uh, beginning part of the season, right? He had nobody to play with. Riley Smith... Uh, 45 points. A lot of those uh, games played and points are from the Boston Bruins. Howla, same thing. Um, we didn't get him until later. I guarantee you he had much better points than 31 and 81 games played. They probably didn't even play him in Minnesota. Probably played him on the third or fourth line. Uh, Condra, 19. Domingo. All right, all these guys down here. Very nice. Defenseman, uh, Keith Yandel, 61 points. There you go. That's exactly why I held on to Keith Yandel, boys. I think that decision to hold on to Yandel has has propelled us to become a playoff team. If I traded him as well, we may have not have gone on that stretch. Now, it's hard to say because we traded the better goalie away, but to, when we traded away Mike Smith, remember, we got a goalie and a second-line left wing back in Howla. So it was two roster spots, and I think that helped us out. But Yandel, I think, you know what? If we need a captain going into the playoffs, I think Keith Yandel should be our captain. I want to hear your opinions on our captain and our alternates because I am going to make them for the playoffs. But my nomination for the captain has to be Keith Yandel. 20 goals on the point, 61 points, 29 years old. He's right in the middle of his prime for the next three years. You don't have to worry about this guy whatsoever. Definitely need Keith Yandel on this team. Ekman Larson, the future is very bright for him. He's only 24 years old, a good year. Didn't have as many goals as he had last year. I think he had, oh, never mind, I take that back. Yandel just really played good. Gormley, Stone, Murphy, Pronger, Newmelin didn't have a point. That's all right. He has the uh, the severance package. That's all he cares about. All right. And uh, ooh, look what Byzantine did. He came up three games or uh, four games played 1.76, 3 1 0. All right, so that was all good, but Darcy Cooper should be the guy that we should all look at. All right, now a lot of those games played are probably backup games from Minnesota. He did not play 26 games played here. You got to think 16, 3, and 2. That's 21 games played. Byzantine played 4, so that's 17. So he played 17 games played. I don't know how many well, he won with Minnesota, right? But 17 games played, and his record 16, 7, and 0, and a save percentage of 91.54. So we got to decide, goaltender for the playoffs. An 81 to an 83 really isn't a big difference. I think we should start with Kumper or Kemper. Damn it, Kemper, Kemper, Kemper. But uh, if we start to lose games, Mark Byzantine, give him the chance to shine in the playoffs, baby. What a, what a year for Mark Byzantine. Or should he go back down to the AHL now? I don't know. I don't know. We got to decide about that. All right. So there is our team. Now let's take a look at the NHL standings here. So this is year number two. All right. So we'll take a look at the... Uh, this is next year's NHL season. So Max Pacioretty, apparently next year in the NHL, is going to have 54 goals. All right, Ovechkin with 51, Kessel with 48, Stamkos 44, Vanek with 43, Crosby with 40, Malkin, McKinnon. All right, you can say what you want, but this is, this is a year from now. I mean, it's... Year one, you can take a look at and judge, but year two, maybe Montreal Canadiens, you know, they're top of the league, and maybe uh, P.K. Subban really helps out Pacioretty getting goals, you know, who who knows, but I'm fine with uh, Pacioretty having 54 goals. It could happen. Uh, defenseman, oh, you know what, sorry, 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 forwards, assists, there you go, Crosby at the top with 69 assists and points. Crosby with 109, Stamkos 95, Giroux 93, Kessel, Duchesne, Galchenyuk. Yeah, see, Galchenyuk is now 88 overall. That's why. In year two, the game says that Galchenyuk is 88. Pacioretty is on the first line with them. They have P.K. Subban. 
Yeah, they just have a filthy team. That's why. Datsuk, 88. Yeah, Pacioretty. Yeah, Pacioretty and uh, Galchenyuk. They're tearing it up together. All right, but Crosby at the top, which I like. Uh, defense, defense, defense. I'm just looking at the time here. 20 minutes. We're okay. Defense, and look, there. I just, <laughs> before I even took a look at it, P.K. Subban. So that, that's why Pacioretty is where he was in year number two. It's because his support is there. And that's what I like to see in this game. You can turn players into really good players. That's why Hansel and Bodker have the points they do. It's because they have support. They have Yandel playing on the point, and they're a playoff team. Montreal Canadiens, in year number two, they have a stacked team. They really do. All right, goals. Petrangelo, Carlson, he had 20-goal season. Uh, Yandel, where's Yandel? Yeah, there's Yandel. 20 goals. Very nice, Yandel. Assist, P.K. Subban with the most. So, Pacioretty just has P.K. Subban and Galchenyuk just feeding him the puck. And then, Subban the most points. Hamilton. Yandel, number four. So, I was, I'm very happy that we held on to Yandel. He he played great for us. Uh, we'll check out the best goal. Oh, look at that. Jonathan Quick played 71 games played. Carey Price, 70 games played. All right, there you go. Remember what I said about teams that are doing good? Their first liners get a lot of points. Montreal Canadiens, I mean, they had 44 wins with Carey Price this year. So they're at the top. So it's no wonder why their first line is tearing it up. All right. Look at that. Mike Smith on the Minnesota Wild. I hope you do good with Minnesota. But you know what? I wasn't expecting to have to face you in the playoffs now, possibly. All right. So the Minnesota Wild, they are in the playoffs with Mike Smith on their team. Oh, man. He played a lot of games played this year. Let's check out the best goals against average. Jonathan Quick's got a good one. Uh, go down here. Uh, Flurry's decent, 2.33. Oh, there's one, yeah. Anderson, 2.19. That's a really good season. Uh, Tuka Rask, 2.22. Uh, really good season for NHL stats. I've noticed the goals against is a little bit higher this year, but I'd rather it be a little bit higher and have more goals than uh, under. Uh, Cedric Desjardins. <laughs> He's at the top for save percentage. Forgot to look at this, though. Uh, Jonathan Quick, 92. Very nice. 92 is a good one. Yeah, Flurry. Uh, Anderson, yeah, so it looks like Boston, Ottawa, Pittsburgh, and, uh, and LA had very good defensive years this year, all right, uh, yeah, that's that taken care of, all right, so we are ready to, you know what, we'll take a quick look at the AHL team, our AHL team, 49, 17, and 7, all right, and last but not least, let's take a look at the progress reports. Because, now that we're in the playoffs, I have to make some decisions, so how, uh, 11 attributes, but he's actually dropped to an 83, but that might be because of the entire year. Remember, he had 81 games played, but only 30 points, so when he was playing on Minnesota, he was probably on the third or fourth line getting no ice time, right? But when he moved to our team and he played the the 21 games played or the 30-something uh, games played, because I got him after the All-Star break, he put up 30-something points, so if you take a look at him, yeah, like the accuracy has dropped... Uh, yeah, so we got to play Howla uh, in the playoffs this year. I think Minnesota really hurt him, all right? But uh, he's only 25 years old, so he can still grow for one more year. But uh, that's something we have to take a look at. Howla has dropped a little bit. Uh, Ekman Larson has grown. Hansel has grown to an 87. That's good. Uh, Pronger, Galliardi have dropped. Yeah, yeah, all these guys have dropped. Uh, I'm surprised Yakupov or anyone hasn't gone up. Let's see. Yeah, Yakupov, Teravine, and no, they haven't grown. Okay, that's fine. AHL. Uh, Randy Jones, Dauphin went up by eight, Domi went up by eight, uh, all right, yeah, a bunch of guys went up, and let's take a look at our goalies here, uh, Makarov, Langhammer went up by seven, what about Burke, I mean, uh, not Burke, uh, Byzantine, no, Byzantine didn't grow at all, maybe because he was a backup, you need to put him as a backup to grow, attribute modifier, right, maybe, that could be the, that could be the case, but he's in the playoffs now, and he can be a backup goalie for a, uh, for a playoff team, all right, boys, so there you go, we're going to end it right there. I want to know. Because now my my strategy is completely different. I I, I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, now we want to try and win the Stanley Cup, right? But we have turned this season around. Now, is this going to be a weird kind of year where it sets us up for failure, automatic failure next year? Because now that we've made the playoffs, are we expected to make the playoffs next year? Because going into next year, we still have the same roster and, you know, it looks weak. I, I think we're lucky to be in the playoffs, right? But can't worry about that right now. So I want to hear what you guys have to say. Strategy, offseason, uh, the trade deadline, everything. I want to hear it. And captains. My vote is for Yandel. Let me know, boys, and I'll see you in the next one.